good movie, no? This movie received an Academy Award nomination as Best Picture, which was an extremely rare honor for a Western back then. And Thomas Mitchell, who played the drunken doc, he won the Oscar as the Best Supporting Actor that year for his performance. Helped by the fact he'd also been very impressive that year, not only in Stagecoach, but in four other films as well. Gone with the Wind, Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, Only Angels Have Wings, and The Hunchback of Notre Dame. I mean, quite a year for Thomas Mitchell. Now, the great unsung hero of this movie is stuntman Yakima Canute. He's the one who performed that spectacular bit as the Native American jumping from his own horse to the lead horse of the stagecoach, after which he's shot by the Ringo Kid and falls beneath the horses. Three cameramen were filming that scene, but everything happened so quickly, none of the three were certain they got the shot. Well, Canute told director John Ford he'd be happy to do it again, but Ford said to him very quietly, I'll never shoot that again. Well, luckily, the shot turned out perfectly. Up next, the premiere of the fifth episode in Mark Cousins' documentary series, The Story of Film. Tonight on Turner Classic Movies, it's the TCM premiere of The Story of Film, Chapter 5, The Devastation of War and a New Movie Language. Then Orson Welles is a self-made man in Citizen Kane. And Harold Russell triumphs over hardship in the best years of our lives. Step inside the TCM vault for a deeper look at Hollywood.